Well, the race was named the Comrades Marathon Association Phillies and Mayors 84 Handicap. And we heard Graham Hawkins uh, interview Mr. Mpundisi Ngobu uh, from the Comrades Marathon Association. He is their chairperson. And what a big, massive day it is for them tomorrow. One of the marathons on the planet that you want to run in and you want to complete is the Comrades Marathon. Thank you, Mr. Ngobadisi, for coming down and assisting us with the presentation. And first up will be the winning groom. Congratulations to Luanda, uh, the winning groom, receiving his uh, money from uh, the Comrades Marathon and, of course, uh, Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Luanda's done an outstanding job. Next up will be the winning trainer. Nathan, uh, you must have planned this race because you came in with a nice low weight. Yeah, I came in last week, you know, I thought quite a competitive meditative field, but you know, this filly was doing so well back home and I could see today in the ring, she looked superbly today and I thought, you know, big runner. What a ride from Muzi, you know, you've always given him a chance from the time he's, he started off his apprenticeship, when you used to be with Mike, etc., but you followed that through uh, when you've taken out your license. Yeah, Muzi's always been like a son to me and um, yeah, just a great ride from him, you know, I've always got confidence when he's in the saddle. And I'm um, just well done to Brandon back home. He's watching. I know he's very excited. And to Boylan Stad, well done to them. And yeah, great day. Well done, Nancy. Thank you. Congratulations. That's your winning memento from the, the Comrades Marathon with a glass, uh, with a bottle of champagne. Well played. Winning trainer, Nathan Cotson. And then, uh, if you can, come through, Muzi. Congratulations. Uh, I think the first question I'm going to ask you, because this race is sponsored by the Comrades Marathon Association. You're a fit boy. You're, you're, you're super fit. You travel around the country. You're on aeroplanes. You're on taxis. You travel to race courses. You're a fit guy. Would you one day consider running Africa's greatest race and one of the races on the world stage? The Comrades Marathon. Yeah, it's an amazing race and South Africans follow it quite closely and uh, unfortunately I don't have the legs for it and the build for it. That's why I ended up a jockey. What if a sponsor comes up to you one day and says, do it for charity. Every kilometer you finish, uh, we are going to sponsor X amount. Will you do it then? Of course, of course. Not, not to that doubt. Anything for charity. Well, uh, just putting you on the spot there, young man. But you're a champion of your trade. What a ride from you. Thank you very much, uh, Diz. Um, um, what do you call this? Uh, I was quite impressed last time I was in the race with her and she was drawn deep. Dennis was able to get across and we were going quite hard and she was able to get across and still finish off to win the race. So I definitely thought she had a, big, a decent chance and uh, i got to say to Nathan, when I got into the ring, he was very bullish about his chances. He said the Phillies turned the corner, just do all, all you can to bring her home and uh, I'm grateful I could do it for my whole family. Well, well done. Nice ride. You know, I thought Meteoric skipped at the right time, but you timed it to a T. Yeah, I thought I'd ride her with a bit of confidence. Almost left it too, too late, but uh, she got there when I could count it. I can't um, just thank you, uh, Mr. Vies, Mr. Poe, for their patience. I know it's been a little bit of a roller coaster, but uh, nice to, to have him here and to have a winner for him. Well, well done. That's a lovely memento. A gift from the Comrades Marathon Association for you. Winning jockey, Muzi Yeni. Thank you. I just want to thank the sponsorships and to my personal sponsors, Dam Stomco. Thank you very much. And well done to Nathan Cots in the yard. Thank you. Well played, Jockey Muziani. And Mr. Poe is going to represent the owners. Congratulations to you, sir. I've uh, watched you just grow now within this industry, buying more horses, getting involved in more shares. You seem to be loving the experience. Of course, but it's not a new thing. I've been involved in horse racing since my younger age. Yes. Yeah, I've been friends with uh, Brandon years and years ago. So I think this is a new beginning for us in partnership with horses. We hope for a better future for, for us. Talking about the better future, how many horses you got in training now, Mr. O? I can't even count, but I think <laughs> so there are more than 35 up to 40, I'm not sure. <laughs> so you're, you're loving it, you're enjoying it, the experience, the success, uh, the highs and the lows? I do. I mean, it's part of investment. There's some up and downs in business, you know that. Some day you smile, some, sometimes, some day you cry. It's all about the game. But uh, we hope we've got for positive results for going forward to build this into a better partnership.
Well, I wish you all the best. Congratulations uh, with your full year and well done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank for Mozi. Thank everybody involved, Nathan and the staff. Thank you. Well, that's a nice gift for you from uh, the chairman of the Comrades Marathon Association, Mr. Mkosi Ngobu. Well done to the winning owners here, uh, Visa, Kotsen and Mr. Poe. Thank you so much, Mr. Ngobu, for coming down and assisting us with the winning presentation. We wish you all the best tomorrow. What is a massive day for comrades. Uh, congratulations to the winning connections. Of course, Bright Star, a daughter of Gold Standard, bred at Blue Hill Stud. Congratulations to Vitsa, Kotsen, Poe, uh, of course, Nathan Kotsen, Muziani, and let's not forget the winning groom, who is Luanda. One more to go on Hollywood Bets Gold Challenge Race Day. Coming up next will be race number 10.